Welcome back to the Jason Show, Sans Jason Matheson. But I'm here in Newsroom. I'm filling in for him. Yeah. I think the show's going well. I think so too. Don't you? Jeannie's doing well. The bear is strapped in. Yep, everything's all good over there. We're ready to go. I've got my Marge Simpson shoes on. Everything's fine. Everything's good. Okay, you know we're big fans of the Hallmark Christmas movies on this show. Duh. You are. Well, Ted we, and I, we oh, okay. love that. All right, fine. That, that, that's fair. I know you're a big fan, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Uh, the queen of all those movies, Lacey Chevert, also does other Hallmark movies, including a sequel trilogy to The Wedding Veil. So when Hallmark asked if we had anyone who wanted to interview her, producer Ted said, of course we do, obviously. Obviously. And he booked himself. <laughs> Take a look. So good to see you. You too. Uh, we are, so before we get into the wedding veil and the whole trilogy, uh, we are big fans of Hallmark Christmas movies on this show. Okay. Uh, and we, and, and I actually review them. So I, and then we have like a, a, a checklist. So it's okay. like, is there, is there a kiss in a gazebo check, you know? And the last thing on the checklist is, is Lacey Chabert in the movie? <laughs> so sometimes it's a check and sometimes it's not, but uh so yeah so we are big fans uh of yours and of hallmark um tell me about the wedding veil uh the second trilogy three movies three weeks how does this work yeah so the original trilogy was last year and we were so appreciative and thankful that the audience tuned in and they seemed to really enjoy going on the journey not only in the romantic stories but of the friendships and it was such a unique experience and exciting opportunity to have the chance to continue the stories, you know, see where the characters are now that they're married. Are they going to start families? What are they navigating? And so we get to return to Avi, uh, Avery and Emma and Tracy. And it was just so much fun to film. The first time around, we were able to go to Bulgaria and Italy. And this time around, we go to Greece in, in Tracy's movie. And it was just, it's been a blast. How did you, I mean, a first trilogy is one thing, but then like the second trilogy, how did you guys come up with, oh, we can keep this going? Um, I feel like we have ideas for many more <laughs> if we have the chance. But, you know, in the original films, we find a wedding veil. We decide to buy this beautiful wedding veil at an antique shop because it has this legend attached to it that anyone who is in possession of the veil will find true love. And it turns out to be true and all three friends find love and ro romantic relationships and end up getting married. And so we had to come up with a way, how do we still involve the veil and intertwine it in all of the stories? And the legend does continue with other people in the films and it's really beautiful and, and it's really exciting. You know, my character, as we saw last week, you know, found out she was having a baby and tried to find the perfect way to tell her husband. And, you know, they're navigating being new parents and their jobs and renovating a house. And then this coming week, we get to see Autumn Reeser's character, Emma, you know, find out where they are in their marriage and dealing with a long distance relationship and all that that brings. And, and then the following week, we get to follow um, Allison Sweeney's character um, on their honeymoon. She and Victor Webster, they go to uh, Greece. And so we all got to go there. So Autumn and I got to go there and, and, and work on the movie for about a week. And it really, it feels like the adventure you see on camera is one that is really happening in real life, which is nice. How long does it take to shoot one of these trilogies? Cause I, you know, cause you guys have the, the, the Hallmark Christmas movie timeline. I feel like that's down to a science. What about these? Is it sort of the same timeline? Jason, they are all 15 days. <laughs> which I, some people don't realize is a, is a really, it's a tight schedule, you know, it's, it's not a lot of time to film a hundred page script, you know, typically. And, um, it, it just speaks to the collaboration of the incredible team. Everyone is so good at their jobs and, you know, post-production starts and is actually happening while we're filming. Things are already being edited. And, and I mean, they literally just finished the one in Greece, which will be airing in a couple of weeks. So oh. it's, it's just, it's a huge group effort. So when do you start, now shifting gears, when do you start shooting the Hallmark Christmas movies? Well, we typically do those during the summertime. That's how the schedule usually works out. Um, in Hall Out the Holly, we were in, I think we filmed in August in Salt Lake City, which was beautiful, but they were unfortunately having an incredible heat wave that week. So... Oh. The whole cast. 
<laughs> and much of the movie is outside in the cul-de-sac. And so the whole cast were all bundled, scarves, hats, gloves, the whole thing. And it's a hundred and a million degrees. And you're just like, okay, we're making a Christmas movie. But sometimes we're actually able to film them in the wintertime too. It kind of just depends. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we had Melissa Peterman, who you know, good friend of our show. Uh, she was on last week. She said it was 106 degrees. I thought she was exaggerating. It, no, it really was. At one part, the, at one point, the car thermometer, I think, said 111. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? But can I just please stop for a second and say how much I love Melissa? She is such a doll. She is so funny, as everyone knows. But she's as funny also in real life. And she's such a, just a loyal, amazing friend. And it had been a dream of mine to work with her again in something, especially a Christmas movie. So the fact that it worked out and it was just a dream come true. She was so, so, so good. Could we see Lacey and Melissa Peterman part two? A hundred percent, yes. I don't know exactly what that'll be, but we already have some ideas. I do have to say quickly that Comparing this slate, this past season's slate of Hallmark Christmas movies, I thought the, the you know, people say that, oh, it's got the, you know, a formula, the plot line are, are the same. I thought this round of movies was as original as I've ever seen before. That's so great to hear. Yeah, I'm really proud of the stories that we're able to tell, you know, I especially in the styles of movies. You know, like for Christmas, Hall of the Holly, that was a real comedy. And that's something I hadn't done as a Christmas movie before. And, you know, and while still maintaining what I think people, what it is people come to Hallmark for, which is to feel good and that feeling of community. And, you know, that was definitely present in Hall of the Holly and still the romantic part. And so I, and then the mysteries that we're going to be doing and the trilogy. And so I think the stories are being told a little more outside of the box, but still maintaining what people love most about the network. Well, we are big fans, Hallmark. We are Thanks. big fans of Lacey, and uh, we can't, can't wait to watch. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. Thank you. I, I just want to point out really quick, uh, for those of you just joining us and you don't know who I am, my role here is in, at Fox 9 is sports reporting. I'm, mm -hmm. Sports is my primary uh, responsibility. Yep. But this week I've seen Ted talk to Jessica Chastain, mm -hmm. and now Lacey Chabert, and it occurs to me that all I do is talk to big, sweaty, hairy men, and something has clearly gone wrong in my career and life because Ted is just living the high life talking to these Hollywood starlets on a daily basis. I'm really sorry, Pierre. I, I, what did I do There's wrong? There's nothing else I can say. I mean, You're right. You Ted, were right. Ted's got the best job of them all. He really does. Come Ted, after your job, Ted. Congratulations. Yeah. By the way, The Wedding Veil Expectations next airs on Hallmark Channel on Thursday evening, and the rest of the Wedding Veil trilogy will debut all month long. We'll be right back, everybody. Stay with us. I mean, he's got a great job, Ted, though. I mean, seriously. <laughs> it's going to do all the I do have a fun job, to be fair.